Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Today we read Luke 21, 29 through 38. Jesus told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all is taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life, and that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. And every day he was teaching in the temple, but at night he went out and lodged on the mountain called Olivet. And early in the morning all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. So Jesus says, look at the fig tree, and you see when you can tell when spring is there and the summer is coming, and you can tell it's going to happen because the fig tree begins to blossom. All the other trees begin to blossom. In our context, it'd be pollen begins to fall from the trees in um, gigantic quantities. And when you see those things, you know warm weather is coming Similarly, when you see these things happening, you know the kingdom of God is coming. And Jesus says something here that either, either we are confused about what he meant or he was just mistaken. And you hesitate to say Jesus ever made a mistake because that will get you thrown out of the presbytery. But he says this generation will not pass away until all this has taken place. Well, the generation that was listening to him, of course, they passed away long ago. Or did he mean the generation that will be living at the time when these things come, which would be kind of ridiculous for him to say about some future generation? Or was Jesus simply mistaken in his expectation that the Son of Man would come soon? We don't know. The early church seems to have had an expectation that things would wind up very quickly, and things didn't. So what are we supposed to do with that? No one's ever figured it out. Um, but don't let that bother you. You know, he's, he's speaking and he's predicting, and these things are going to happen, and when they happen, they'll come quickly. The generation that's alive won't even have time to, you know, to reproduce and die. It'll just happen. And he says, so, so watch and don't let the cares of everyday life um, distract you. It'll come quickly. And, um, and pray that you have the strength to escape the things that are coming. So this, it's kind of a dangerous thing that he's, that he's talking about. I think being awake and watchful is a good stance for us. We should be awake and ready and watching and looking at the signs. I don't think every time something unusual happens, we should take that as a sign uh, of the coming of the kingdom. You know, I didn't read anybody saying, oh, the aurora borealis is visible in, in uh, you know, in Florida. It's, it's, it's a sign of the kingdom. Um, I mean, we know why that happened. The sun spurted out a bunch of radiation uh, a few days before when it hit the atmosphere. It made pretty lights. And so um, nobody really took that as a sign. It's just an unusual sort of occurrence. Um, sometimes people do take all kinds of things in weather as, as signs. And I'm not sure that we should, that we should worry so much about that those things. But it is good to be watchful, to be awake, to be aware, to know that um, Jesus could return at any moment. And, um, and when he returns, then we'll all have to stand before him and, and, um, and, and 
justify ourselves, except that we won't because we can't be justified. So what will happen is that Jesus will, you know, welcome us into the kingdom because of the forgiveness that he's already given us. Let's not get too complicated here this morning. It's early. Let's just say that um, he'll take care of us. And so don't you worry a single bit, but be awake and watchful. Uh, without worrying. If you can manage to thread that needle, good for you. It's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, and we will see you then.